Hello and welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be using Clonezilla to make a uh, drive copy um, from one uh, size disk to the other size disk, the same size. Uh, basically, here I'm doing a, a demonstration with a 200 gig uh, drive, and then uh, you know it doesn't matter what size you're, you're using, but it'll definitely be a different size. Um, what I've done already is I've already added the other d drive in here, and I want you to see the difference between the two. Um, you know, before you add the drive, you can actually do a, uh, a check to see what your device names are. Um, a lot of times I like to go to the what's called PAT PROC and partitions. And here we can see that VDA is the original uh, drive, and then uh, VDB is going to be the drive that I actually want to mirror or make a copy of everything off from that. Um, so that, that's pretty much all I need to show you for that part of it. And uh, I always recommend using the same exact size drives. Um, some people, you know, try to shrink them and do all that stuff. I, I just, just can keep the same size. So if you got a terabyte drive, do it to another terabyte drive, and then you know, remove the remove the drive after you clone it. That way, you're at that that point. But uh, what I'll do here is I'm gonna actually boot up into the Clonezilla uh, ISO and then and show this system uh, with that information. Okay, uh, next thing we're going to do here, now that we've uh, rebooted the system with a CD-ROM in, or if you booted off a USB drive, or however you uh, you do the thing there, we're going to select uh, the uh, other mode. And then we're going to say to to RAM. So it's the 1, 2, 3, the fourth selection down. Hit enter on there. Okay, here we're going to select English, um, select whatever language that uh, works best for you there. Um, we're going to say don't touch key map. And we're going to start Clonezilla. And we're going to do a, a device to device. Uh, since we've got the original hard drive and then we've got the new hard drive. Uh, we'll do beginner. And we'll do just a local disk. And here it wants to know what is the source disk. So the source disk will be the one that you know that you installed your um, your software on. So most likely that will be the, 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 the disk or the A disk, which for us which would be the VDA. Um, for you, it might be SDA, and then uh, uh, then we'll select the second one after that. So this is the um, system that we want to clone, or the drive that we want to clone. Click OK for that, and then we want to do it to the second one. And here you can do different checks if you want. Um, I, I'm just going to go through this and actually do a... Uh, you know, keep the default. So I'm just going to say skip checking and repair source file, uh, source file system. Click OK. So it says uh, now it's going to go through and uh, save that file and, and move it over there. So we're going to press enter here. Continue. Um, it's telling you all data will be lost off from VDB, which that should be the new drive. So you know, make sure that you've got your drives right, and that it's going to be copying it to the right uh, place at the right time. And uh, if you want to continue, we're going to say yes to this. And uh, it's going to ask you again. Uh, all information will be gone off from the VDB. And this is the bootloader and everything. Well, we want this to be an exact copy. So I would say that yes, we want to copy everything, bootloader included. And then it'll kick off and uh, determine how much time uh, it's going to take to do it. Here it's saying that there's about uh, two hours, two and a half hours to do this. Um, on yours, it may be, uh, uh, you know, it'll tell you the rate as well. Um, this is only a 200 gig, so if you're doing a much larger drive, it could take, uh, you know, a day. Just make sure that it doesn't stop um, once it, 
once it starts. I mean, I think it should be fine because you're not really doing anything to the, uh, the original drive other than just copying it over. So uh, we'll just let this continue and I uh, hope it'll uh, you know finish up here. What it's telling me is two hours and 18 minutes for this 200 gig drive. Now this is, um, you know, a VM, so I'm not using the full processor utilization and all that stuff. Uh, but just wanted to give you an idea on how to do it. Uh, thanks, and uh, I'll be uh, checking back and putting more information up here uh, sooner as it goes. Well, we're at about the, the two hour mark here, and things seem to be, uh, you know, going progressing. Uh, it's a, like I said, it's a slow process. Uh, again, this is a 200 uh, gig um, drive or, or partition. Uh, if you have a large one, it'll probably take longer. Once again, depending on CPU and memory and stuff like that, but uh, uh, it's, it's moving along and, and we'll just keep on checking back on it. Uh, we have about, looks like uh, about a minute left until this uh, complete cloning is finished. Okay, it synced it, that looks good. Okay, um, looks like things move here. It says no root partition is mounted. Uh, you'd better make sure running kernel does not support the file system of root partition. It went through and did all that stuff, so it looks like that part's good. Um, we can actually exit out of here. It says if you want to use Clonezilla again, press 1, status console, enter command line prompt, 2, run command exit, or... Uh, log out. When everything is done, remember to use power off, reboot, or follow the menu. So what we'll do here is when we're done with this, we're just going to do a uh, um, power off, and then we'll go from there. And now it's unloading it all out of RAM. And you should have a good um, image drive. Uh, thanks for your time.